Well, hello from Swanage Library. My name is Peter and I'm going to be talking about this painting for a few minutes. It's painted by Mark Chagall, the Jewish-Russian um, painter um, who for many years was also working in Paris. And we'll come on to that a, bit, a little bit later on. Um, but I'm interested in this particular painting. It's painted in 1915, um, just leading up to his his marriage to Bella, who we, we see here. Um, I mean, it's a wonderful picture, isn't it? It's uh, clearly that they're very much in love. Um, it's with the story behind this. It's a, a typical trope you'll be familiar with, where the poor bohemian artist falls in love and um, completely out of his league with uh, a wealthy, well-to-do, um, highly educated woman. I mean, she'd studied uh, philosophy in, in Moscow I mean, she's able to translate books from Russian to French, you know, so she's, um, you know, she's not his inferior, inferior in any way. And of course, then the family are always concerned about, well, how is this painter going to be able to feed the family, you know, but then love wins out and, you know, the family become convinced that, yeah, they, they love each other sufficiently, that let's let them get married. And so what, what this painting is doing is it's kind of capturing a moment it's a very interesting picture for various reasons. He, he, Mark Chagall hasn't really painted anything quite like this leading up to it or after. I mean, there are vestiges of a kind of cubism here. If you look at the, the table and you can't really make sense of the, you know, the, the shape of the room. You know, you can't discern where the walls or the corner of the room is. Um, but that's the least of our worries because we've got here people floating around. I mean, Mark Chagall in his autobiography actually describes this moment, and it's, um, I'm going to say a little bit more about why this moment is important. He says in his autobiography, Morning and night she brought to my studio sweet cakes from her house, broiled fish, boiled milk, all sorts of decorative materials and boards which I used for an easel. I had only opened to open my bedroom window and blue air, love and flowers entered with her. Dressed all in white or all in black, she seemed to float over my canvases, guiding my art. So I think what he's painting here, it's a very direct painting. Um, he's, he's trying to capture that moment, a, a moment we may be long for, it may, I mean, may not happen. Um, F. Scott Fitzgerald made a career out of trying to tantalise us with this kind of moment. Um, but good news for Mark Chagall, it ended up being quite a happy um, marriage. Uh, sadly, Bella dies in uh, the time of the Second World War. Um, but they got along really well, and it's uh, appropriate that he, he, he paints th th this picture. Um, what can we say about it? Why are, they, why are they floating? Well, when you're in love... Um, and you say, oh, I, she floated in, then we get away with it with, in language. Um, but why not, why not depict it? Why, I mean, we think of Chagall, we can think of him as being um, a visual poet. You know, so um, what if they weren't floating? What if they were just stood there, you know, holding hands? <laughs> the, the dynamism wouldn't be there. I mean, look at him, he's willing to bend over backwards for her. <laughs> You know, quite quite literally. I mean, we know it's we know it's the couple. I mean, the hairstyles, you know, kind of give it away. He often painted portraits of Bella, dressed very very similar to this. And here we see her with a um, a bouquet of flowers for him. I mean, that's she's not being servile. It's a it's a gesture, a gesture of love. I mean, the painting's also interesting because he the focus of the painting is the love between two people. It hasn't got the usual repertoire and distractions that his paintings usually have. I mean, very rare to see a painting by Marc Chagall, which hasn't got a rooster in, or, um, or goats, or somebody playing a, a violin. So it, it really is quite, a, quite an unusual um, painting. It's interesting that she, Bella herself, remembers this moment, um, and she, she describes it in in her memoirs um, some years later but she says she writes of him um, spurts of red blue white black suddenly you tear me from the earth you yourself 
take off from the foot, on one foot. You rise, you stretch your limbs, you float up to the ceiling, your head turns about and you make mine turn. You brush my ear and murmur. So there, I hope you enjoy looking at this, this painting. I'm going to talk a little bit more about Marc Chagall next week because I think there is, um, there's quite a lot to, to reflect on his own experience, his ambivalence of the historical situation he finds himself in, uh, being Jewish, working in Paris, um, living through the wars and the Russian Revolution. All of these things have an impact on his whole body of work, which is massive. I mean, he... He's a close contemporary with Pablo Picasso, and both of them had a massive output over quite long lives. So um, I'm going to say a little bit more about Marc Chagall next week, and I leave you with uh, the, the lovers here. Thanks for listening. Bye.